Hey guys, Mrs. Sketch here. Now I'm gonna show you how you can add in very specific special effects like explosions or fire or gunshots to a certain spot in your video using iMovie. First things I wanna show you, if you go to um, our digital expressions um, class, uh, feed here, I put in two links that'll be really useful to you. One is this right here, uh, Creative Commons stock footage websites, and as well a link to this folder in my Google Drive, which is all stock footage. All of these are Creative Commons and you can download them and use in your own film. So I would suggest you go ahead and check them out and download what you need. Um, if you wanna just go ahead and go to a certain website, one that I recommend actually is one called Production Crate. Let's actually change, Production Crate. Um, and this is just a place where you can download all of those things that you imagine whenever it's a special effect. They have really weird ones like a head or a cleaver, but they also have blood, one where you can show someone like falling through an earthquake hole. Um, there's several things that you can use. I will warn you that with footage crate or slash production crate, it is not free. If you log on, you only get two downloads for the day. And if you create an account, that's still free, you only get five downloads. I have an SAS VidPro one, but if I share it with all of you, it's still, it's clearly not enough. So, but as you can see here, the background's a little bit different. The background is black, and that actually is gonna come in very handy and important. If you go into our Google Drive folder, there are three here that you can download. Um, that say footage crate and you'll be able to use them. So I would download and import into iMovie before we get started. So here I have already downloaded some things to use. Um, I will say that I'm gonna just create torturing my panda because that's what needs to happen. So here I have my background. Whenever you're doing green schooner special effects, what's in the background is the first thing on your timeline. And then I'm gonna put in my special effect. So here, let's check out this fire explosion. I think I wanna set his head on fire. This panda has been bothering me. So when you select it, you're gonna drag it over. Now when you drag it over, it's gonna pull up, once again, um, the option of cut away, okay? You do not want it to cut away, and you also don't want it to do green screen. What you want it to do is something called picture in picture. And what that picture in picture option is going to give you, as you can see, is that it gives you a way to move everything around. Okay, so if I wanted his butt to be on fire, it's bad times, his butt can be on fire. If I wanted his little nose to be on fire, it can be on fire. If I wanted a fire back here, or in dangers impending, it's whatever. And you can also make it as big or as small as you want. One thing that I will say is that you cannot rotate it. I've had several students ask me that and I just have not been able to figure it out. But once you put it where you want it, let's just set his head on fire, and you hit play, you can see what it looks like. Now that clearly was a little bit too short, but you guys get the idea. So that's how simple it is to add special effects. If you, if I wanted to put something else on, let's see here. He's gonna implode after I tortured him the first time with the fire on his head. You can put it afterwards. And like I said, remember, you always pick picture in picture. And that's what's gonna give you the ability to use what you want. So here he just had a very intense fart and it's just going to go ah. All right, so as you can see these aren't the best special effects to use, but this is exactly how you would put them in specific parts in your film. Hope this helps.